Today I'm joined by Rebecca Bryant from the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade in Canberra. Rebecca is co-chair of the Global Partnership for Financial Inclusion, which was officially launched by the G20 in September 2010. Rebecca, thanks for your time today. Hi Gemma, it's good to be here. What is the Global Partnership for Financial Inclusion and why is Australia involved in it? So the Global Partnership for Financial Inclusion was created in 2010, as you've said. Um, it's designed to address, address the fact that uh, 2.5 billion people are still um, unable to access formal financial services. What this means is that poor people can't save, uh, they can't get access to money to undertake entrepreneurial activity, they can't get insurance um, in the event that natural disasters ruin their crops. So it, it is a significant factor in ensuring that they stay poor. Leaders recognised this in 2009 and they asked a range of financial inclusion experts from around the world to come together um, to talk about ways that the G20 could address this issue. Uh, in 2010, the work of that group led to the creation of the Global Partnership for Financial Inclusion. Australia is involved because this is a significant issue for poor people and we care about that. We know from our own experience that, that the more people that can access formal banking services, the better off they are. And so we've been working with the Global Partnership for Financial Inclusion from its beginning to ensure we have access to better data about who is accessing financial services and who is not, that we can ensure that we have um, that small and medium sized um, businesses can access the finance they need to expand their businesses and grow, um, and so that we can address um, key regulatory issues that prevent poor people from accessing the services they need. How does the GPFI work towards the G20's overall goal of promoting growth? Essentially, um, in order to ensure that we have a, a, a well-functioning uh, financial system, we have to ensure that as many people as possible around the world are able to participate in it. And if 2.5 billion people can't access formal banking services, it's a real problem. So it has to be a goal of the G20 to ensure you know, greater participation and involvement in the global economy, so that's the first reason. Um, the other reason is that without these services, poor people have very limited chances of, um, of stepping out of their circumstances, of becoming more than they currently are. And so, you know, if we can help them access banking services that can enable them to s establish businesses, um, to protect themselves against natural disaster, then we can help them contribute to their economy, um, which in turn can contribute to a better functioning financial system. So it is a key issue. What are Australia's priorities for the GPFI in 2014? Essentially, um, we are wanting the GPFI to get back to its roots. When it was established, it was called Financial Inclusion Through Innovation. So really, it, it acknowledged that the world is changing that poor people can now access financial services in different ways to how they could before. Some people, particularly in Africa, are accessing services purely through mobile phones. So we want the GPFI to, to really come back to that starting point because we feel that in the last couple of years it's stepped away as it worked on some of the fundamentals. So we want to um, start looking uh, more closely at the emerging technologies and ensure that uh, that, that poor people can access the services that they need to access through a range of technologies that are now available to them. Mobile phones is one, um, payment services through agents uh, such as kiosks is another. So um, that's one thing we want to achieve. We also want to come back to look at um, how women are accessing services. When uh, microfinance started up many years ago, women were um, you know, very strongly involved in that. When women can access finance, they can grow their circumstances and they can step out of poverty. We know that um, from past experience and we'd like the G GPFI to look more closely at how women can benefit from the G20's focus on this issue. Um, we'd also like to, to strengthen um, the GPFI's core structure and ensure that it's, it's ready and able to take on new challenges. And one of the new challenges is remittance payments. The cost of remittance payments is not coming down as we expected it to as competition in the market has increased. So poor people, when they go to make a payment, are paying large fees. Um, and, and we want to know why and we want to see if we can find a way to bring those costs down. Rebecca, thank you for your time today. No worries. Thanks, Gemma.
And that was Rebecca Bryant, co-chair of the Global Partnership for Financial Inclusion.